Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to talk about the viewport in Bluplicon and how to navigate through it. The viewport is basically this screen where the image is displayed. So we have four main ways of navigating through the viewport. The first one is right click on the mouse and you will orbit around the selected object. Then you can hold Alt and right click mouse and you will look around. And uh, you can click on the middle mouse and you will pan the camera up and down or left to right. And if you hold the right click mouse, right bottom mouse, and press any of the WASD keys, you will move through the space like if you were piloting a camera. If you want to modify the behavior of the orbit and the look around, uh, you can go to the settings, preference, in the viewport tab. You can compare to viewport control and when it says uh, use camera out of it by default, you can disable this. So basically you invert how it works. So now if I right click only, I will look around. And now if I want to orbit, I have to hold Alt while right click with the mouse. Just uh, if that's your personal preference, you can do that. So those are the basics of how to navigate through the viewport. Now let's take a look at some other few settings that you can tweak. Uh, if you go to the viewport panel, if you don't see it, you can come here to window, viewport details, and it will display this panel here, you would say there is a few options. Uh, you have the default orbit distance and align orbit distance to selection. I wouldn't recommend leaving this on. So basically you will orbit around whatever you have selected. If you disable it, you will orbit always around the distance you set here. So it's more intuitive to leave this on when you orbit. Then you can reduce your minimum distance if you want to orbit like super close to an object, but 30 usually works for most cases. Then you have your camera speed that will affect how fast your camera move while piloting the camera, like holding tight a mouse bottom and pressing W, S and A, B. You can change basically how fast it will move. If you are in a very big environment, it's useful to move quickly. If not, leave it as default or lower it if you need more control. Now, if we move to the ledge of the right section, we have this toggle that if we enable it, nothing happens, but we have access to these settings that allow us to change how the viewport camera looks. So you have the focal length, which is basically the film amount. You can increase it or reduce it a lot to have a wider lens. Let's increase it like this. Then you have the aperture, which at the moment is not doing anything because you need to have a focus metal enable. So let's choose tracking and let's track our character. And now you can see the background is blur. This is controlled with the aperture. So the lower the value, the more blur or out of focus the background is going to be. If you increase the value, the sharper everything is going to look. Now, if you want to work uh, and don't need these settings or you want the default uh, viewport settings, you can undo all the changes or you can just disable the overrides and you will fall back to the original viewport camera settings. Another way to do it, if you don't have this viewport um, panel selected, for example, you are in the details and you don't want to go back to the viewport panel, you have this icon here on the top that when enable, it means there is some settings overriding the default camera. So what you can do is just click here and you will fall back to the default one. If you want, you can always toggle it back and you will resume your override settings.
One last thing to keep in mind is that if you go to the avatar workspace, you will see that your viewport camera setting have been override and you cannot modify them no matter what you do. That's because in the avatar workspace, we use specific camera settings to optimize the avatar creation process. So it's easier to view your character while you're working on it. So keep that in mind. We will see you in the next video and we will talk about bookmarks and cameras in Bye.